Hello again, everybody. It is February the 12th, 2021, and it's time for another episode of AMA Air. Coming up today, we're going to tell you about the world's largest RC paper airplane. Also, uh, figure out how AMA Flight School, a kit, ended up in Uganda. Yeah, and also we're going to give you your preview of the March issue of Model Aviation Magazine. All that and more coming up today on AMA Air. Hello again, everybody. Welcome to another episode of AMA Air. My name is Matt Ruddick. And I am Dylan Carpenter, and welcome to the show. Yeah, Dylan, thanks for uh, stepping in and co-hosting with me today. I hope you're staying warm over in your neck of the woods. Oh, I am. The My my driveway is some kind of, you know, there's snow and then ice and then snow and then ice. There's like <laughs> snow lasagna outside my house right now. So it's just, it's 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 crazy out there. That's a, that's an interesting description. I think I'm going to have to steal that. That's pretty good. It's pretty um, apt, I think. Yeah, I, I hope all you guys watching are staying warm, staying safe, staying healthy, all that good stuff. Um, and we're so glad that you've joined us here today on the show. Lots of cool stuff to talk about today. Absolutely. Um, we've got a special guest coming up in just a little bit as well to talk about some education stuff. Uh, so stick around for that. But first, let's just jump into this because this story is super cool. Um, I, I used to grow up watch, or reading the Guinness Book of World Records books. I got them at oh, the yeah. book fair when I was in elementary school. I loved it. All that stuff was cool. That was the best well, part. Absolutely. So we uh, got word of this story that we wanted to bring to you guys, and it's about the world's largest RC paper airplane. Um, and this comes from the St. Vrain Valley School District in Longmont, Colorado. Uh, Dylan, I think you've actually visited these folks at some point, right? Yeah, actually, I, I got the great privilege to go to Colorado to attend their first ever AeroFest, which was a uh, event totally put on and planned by the students at the school district. Uh, so Jake Marshall, who is uh, kind of the, the the leader of the pack over there, um, stands by and watch the, watches these kids design airplanes and do all kinds of really cool stuff. Um, here you can see they're putting together one of the... Uh, one of the folds of the a paper airplane with a uh, poster board <laughs> and uh, foam core, I think for the, uh, for the ribs. But um, yeah, these, these students are excellent. They're, you know, uh, the designer of this paper airplane uh, started in eighth grade with this project. Wow. So this has been a few years in the making. It, it's so cool to see these kids so passionate about aviation. And so they, they've got this thing built now. I'm not sure if they've flown it yet. Um, it's a Ford. There you go. There's the, uh, the, the, the main that. For, or, yeah, that is just insane. 45 pounds is what I was told that this thing weighs in its final configuration. Um, uh, it's just a, a complete feat. They took them, I think almost a year to build this thing between a, f a couple of different classes of, of kids. Uh, I think it, there was, it was, there was a hiccup, you know, when COVID came around, they had to kind of stop and, and wait for a little bit, but, uh, super cool stuff that these guys have going on out there. Um, where Dylan, where can people learn more about this? So definitely stop by their YouTube channel, uh, youtube.com slash IC aeronautics. Uh, I will definitely be following the story. I don't believe, I think I saw an Instagram post from, uh, from their Instagram that they were outside, uh, maybe filming the maiden flight of this. I haven't seen oh, it fly boy. yet, but I, I'm going to be, I'm definitely going to subscribe to their YouTube channel and, uh, follow that journey. So if you go check out their videos, make sure to drop a comment, tell them AMA Air sent you and, and you know, give them some words of encouragement because uh, it's a small YouTube channel, but they're doing amazing things over there. Yeah, there was a question that asked, if they missed it. What school was that? It's a school out in uh, Longmont, Colorado. Um, St. Vrain Valley School Districts. Yeah, and oh, it, actually yeah. it's home to one of uh, the largest uh, masks at the AMA, which is a model aviation student club. Uh, that right. the AMA has. And uh, there's actually a kind of a sister club out there with the AMA that um, a lot of guys volunteer and help the kids out 
Um, there's uh, that club was present at the Aerofest, their first um, their first event uh, that they yep. put together, and and it's just it's really cool what they're doing out there. Agreed. Again, guys, youtube.com slash IC Aeronautics. Uh, go give them a subscribe, leave them some cool comments to encourage them. I think they're doing some really cool stuff out there. And I'm, I'm excited to see what come what comes next. I'm excited to see that thing fly, quite frankly. Absolutely. Yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait. <laughs> well, let's go from Colorado all the way out to the East Coast to the intrepid Sierra and Space Museum. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys have ever been there in New York City, um, but it is one of the coolest museums around. If you ever get the chance to go out there, be sure you stop in the intrepid uh, I, uh, to see some of the I cool the stuff they have. To, I got the chance to get a behind the scenes tour of the intrepid yeah. museum when I was out there in expo and uh, Eric Bame, who is an AMA member who uh, kind of runs, doesn't run the show out there, but he's a, uh, uh, kind of a, a head honcho there. curator yeah curator yeah well he goes he does run the show then um uh, took us out and much. showed us <laughs> out out the back window where um the miracle on the hudson happened it's right there on oh, the hudson right, right. river and he said that they were all there watching you know the recovery effort um so that was kind of an interesting thing but uh they've got some more interesting stuff next week in the form of a virtual kids week that's right. Next week, February 15th through the 19th is Virtual Kids Week uh, out at the Intrepid Sea Air and Space Museum. Kids Week, they welcome kids of all ages and interest to join them for an online uh, uh, experience where the museum is going to host dozens of fun-filled demonstrations, live animal shows. I'm curious to see what that's going to yeah. be about. Uh, Hands-on workshops, musical performances, and special guests all throughout the week. Uh, it's going to be a, an absolute blast for these guys. It's going to be, again, Monday through Friday next week, February 15th through the 19th, streaming live from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. daily. Whew. That's a lot of stuff, Boy. guys. I think there's going to be something for everybody in that amount of time, I have to believe. Um, so you're going to want to check that out. You can go to intrepidmuseum.org slash kids dash week uh, to check that out again all next week. And this is, you know, all thanks to I, you know, Eric Bame. We mentioned him before. He's a longtime AMA member, curator at the Intrepid Sierra and Space Museum. Um, such a wealth of knowledge uh, out there as well. You can, we've actually had him at Expo in the past. Mm -hmm. We've got his pres uh, Expo presentation up on our website. You can go to modelaircraft.org slash Expo Top 10 to check that out. That's a really cool talk you guys would, be, would really enjoy, I think. So, Highly recommend uh, checking that out if you're interested in, in what they've got going on out there. Absolutely. So yeah, check out the uh, Kids Week next week. I think there's uh, going to be some cool stuff. Speaking of Kids Week, uh, we do we have our own Kids Week uh, coming up. We call it AMA Junior Camp, a uh, virtual Kids Week. Uh, and I am going to actually let we've got a lot of education content to cover, like I said. So I'm going to actually invite Kyle Jarris, our education director on to uh, tell us a little bit more about all the great stuff that they've got uh, coming up. So how you doing, Kyle? Thanks for joining us. Okay, thanks for having me on, guys. It's always a pleasure. Right on. So, Kyle, the, the, the here's the thing that I'm most excited to hear about today, which is this story about these kids in Uganda uh, that contacted us about getting some, getting some stuff to help them learn more about aviation. Um, Tell us a little bit how this story came about and, and what, it, what, it, what it's all about. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, the Uganda story is really cool. Um, so we've got these Arconic kits that we send out to educators around the country, typically. <laughs> so uh, we were hosting a web series. It was an on-demand now uh, where we're, it's basically a teach the teacher, showing them how to utilize these tools in their classrooms or in, in their clubs. And uh, we had an individual reach out, Henry, and uh, he said, hey, I, I watched the webinar. Someone told me about it. I'm really excited to try to bring this into uh, my neck of the woods, uh, which was Uganda. <laughs> so we thought, <laughs> well, uh, you know, the, the education team came together and we, we kind of thought, you know, the love of model aviation and aviation in general really knows no borders. So let's find a way to make this happen. Uh, we had an AMA member step up and uh, say, hey, I I'll cover the shipping costs because this is a little outside of the scope of this grant. Uh, the AMA was able to bring these uh, tools together and these resources. I might have thrown a few extra planes into the box and uh, we shipped these off. And um, you can see by the photos how much of an impact this made. 
of course, there were others that jumped in as well that Henry partnered with. Uh, so thanks from us to them for sending also some aircraft. But I mean, look at those faces mm. like the, this amazing this joy that came from these these you know foam plates, these foam planes, uh, Guillo's gliders, and the AMA Alpha that we sent. So uh, really cool stuff. That's definitely bound to make a lasting impression on those kids. And hopefully they stick with it and get into, you know, the aerospace industry because, you know, back when I was a kid, we got this box of planes and now I'm a, I'm an aerospace engineer. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and you know, the, pun intended, the sky is not the limit, right? Like where these <laughs> kids can go, like we, it remains to be seen, but they're, they're definitely doing great things and, and shout out to Henry. Thanks for making that happen. It's, it's, uh, was the highlight of my week when I got those images and those videos that he supplied to us showing how that was being used. Uh, uh, we actually have a, a blog post up on amablog.modelaircraft.org uh, where you can see uh, a good deal of those images and read a little bit more about the story if you're interested in, uh, in learning more about that. Yeah, for sure. So yeah. be sure to check that out. Um, I will say, just like the uh, um, Intrepid, we're going to be knocking out a virtual camp as well. So we're really, really excited about that. Now, unlike the Intrepid, where they're doing so many great, huge, awesome things. I mean, we'll do a few of those, but we don't have any uh, live animal shows oh. that I know of. Now, Mr. Thede, who's organizing that, might have a few of them in mind. So we'll, we'll just have to see. And I don't want to ruin the surprise, surprise if that's the case. Uh, but you know what? All kidding aside, <laughs> this virtual camp, it was amazing last year in the first year that we did it, and it's going to be even better this year. It's all new curriculum. Um, you know, we actually have an alumni uh, of last year's stream watching with us. Uh, oh, that's awesome! Mr. Mason Hutchinson says, uh, "Mason Hutchinson says hi, Matt and Dylan, and hi, Kyle." And then uh, says how engaged last year's AMA Junior Camp kids were. So we yeah. really appreciated him uh, participating in that for sure. Yeah, for sure. And, and you know, we got so much great feedback on that. Um, you know, this year's, and we're going to do a lot of the similar format where in the mornings we're going to do our lessons. It'll be live streamed and it'll be focused just on the kids. So it'll be a safe space for that to occur. Uh, in the afternoon sessions, we're going to open those up to everybody who's interested in aviation, right? Like those are some of my favorites uh, where we reach out to industry leaders and professionals and, and get some of their input on how model aviation has impacted themselves and their careers and what they do today. Uh, really cool stuff and, and great, of course, to hear from Mason, uh, a great participant in AMA camp, or junior camp last year. And uh, just so everyone knows, we will also be doing an in-person camp this year as well. So our traditional camp AMA, where we bring 30 kids you know, from around the country here. Of course, we're being mindful uh, of safety. We're going through those processes and trying to uh, make sure that we do uh, do right by the kids and by the families uh, to keep things safe. But really important. For that is also open as well. And uh, the camp I made, the in-person is going to be June 7th through the 12th. And the virtual that is open for everybody is March 22nd through the 26th. Now, eventually, we'll make that uh, virtual camp an on-demand camp as well. So. Well, very cool. Well, again, uh, we can put that website ad address back up again. You can go to uh, amaflightschool.com. Come oh I forgot what it was now there it <laughs> is amaflightschool.org slash camp AMA. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're trying right. to pull it up I, to help you out. I was too late. One thing that I, I didn't mention yet, and you know, this is one of the greatest things about a virtual camp, just so everybody knows, it's free to attend. It's free yes. to participate. Um, a lot of the projects you can use things from around the house and have a great time. Um, but if you want to have the best experience, consider investing in one of the flight kits. Um, you know, those are available uh, as well. It'll come with all the tools, all the specialty things that you'll need to really experience that virtual camp to its fullest. Well, let's move on to something else that I actually see some some interesting boxes on your desk behind you. Uh, <laughs> we've we've mentioned in the past about the AMA beta. Well, it is now in stock. We've received our shipment and they are in stock now. Can you tell us a little bit about that? We're so excited to have the betas in. You know, this has been a long time coming and uh, credit where due uh, to the past uh, education director for really beginning that process. Uh, and also a huge shout out to uh, Rob Romash, who stepped up, did the design work, helped us to facilitate getting these produced. Uh, they fly amazingly. And even more so than the fact that they fly so well, 
one of the coolest parts is that, you know, there's all this curriculum that goes along with it. Um, and that curriculum is not behind any kind of a paywall. There's no membership wall for that. Um, really, it's, it's our attempt at showcasing these fundamental principles of aerodynamics and how things fly and what happens when you change the dihedral or the angle or the pitch of a prop or, or going from one eighth inch rubber to three sixteenths rubber for, for the motor. You know, all these lessons um, are, are available. And even if you don't have the AMA beta in hand, if you, you know, can't afford that or, or aren't interested in purchasing it, you know, use the, use the curriculum. You know, it's there to be used and it's our mission to get that out there and really, um, help out with, with generating that love of flight. Uh, Kyle, we actually have a question, a really topical question by Kelly Clark uh, in the chat uh, from Facebook. She says, I'm interested in learning more about this hobby and would like to get my grandson involved. How do you recommend I get involved? Kelly, there is so much great stuff out there to get him involved and hopefully you as well. Uh, so, but in the interest of not taking over the entire <laughs> live stream today, I'm going to ask you to reach out to me at education at modelaircraft.org. Um, but really quickly, check out amaflightschool.org because there's a ton of great stuff there. Uh, check out the quick projects. Once again, those are focused on in-house, you know, in the living room, having fun in model aviation for not a lot of money using the stuff you've got in your junk drawer probably. Um, so that's a great place to start. And then, of course, uh, as we uh, get kids back into school environments and even homeschooling environments, uh, we mentioned earlier our model aviation student clubs. So those masks are a great way to uh, facilitate bringing model aviation into the school environment. But reach out to me later and I will shoot you a ton of links. <laughs> to all the There's so much. We have so much content. And yeah. uh, like Kyle said, it would take up. Uh, three episodes of AMA Air if we tried to go through everything uh, that is available, that we have available. Yeah. Well, finally, uh, Kyle, I want to touch on real quick, the UAS for STEM program is making its return and uh, registration is now open for that. I wondered if you wanted to tell folks a little bit about that and how they can get involved. Yeah, I mean, UAS for STEM has been a program that we've had for a while, and it's a great program. Uh, we have an entire curriculum available for this that's really uh, – it's a part 107 prep course, honestly. And so when the students go through this ground schooling, uh, they can reach out and they can jump in and get their part 107 commercial UAS license and do this professionally. Uh, but that's not the point. The point is to do this process, do it safely, have fun. And then we, we send them all the parts to create this uh, quadzilla um, and they build it, they fly it. It's a mixture of automated flight and hands-on, you know, piloting command. Um, it's a search and rescue mission that they're presented with. And then they also have a drone delivery that they have to conduct, you know, as a part of that mission. Um, we've had great experiences and, um, boy, I, I can't tease this yet. I can't share it yet, but, uh, there's big news coming about this for this year's national competition. I'm just going to leave it there and hopefully we'll pick it up soon. <sighs> if I have confirmations. Man, now, I, now, I now you got my you wheels got, turning. I <laughs> well, I'm, I'm looking. Tuned. Yeah, I'm looking forward to hearing more about that for sure. Uh, yeah, as Dylan said, stay tuned for more information. Uh, you guys can go to uasforstem.modelaircraft.org uh, and get more information today and get registered. And it's going to be a, a really fun competition this year. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, registration is still open. There's still time to jump in, get involved as a team. Um, and, you know, we are making some accommodations even as we speak to the process to make sure things are done safely and effectively. And these kids can learn a lot, have a great time doing it. Fantastic. Well, Kyle, thank you so much for joining us on the show today and, and filling us in on what's going on in your world. I think there's a little bit of everything for everybody going on in the education department right now. So thank you for taking some time out. Happy to be here, guys. Anytime. Thanks, Kyle. All right. So that brings us to, I think, Dylan, you are, you're aware. This is our favorite part I think of the show. I, know. I think I know what part of show this is. But do you really know? I don't know. I think we need to give the people a little bit more hype for what segment we're about to go into. I think that's fair. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for I Fly AMA. Sid, are you ready? Are you ready? Oh, 
Oh, yeah, that's right. Back. We're back. It's time for iFly AMA. It's that segment of the show where we bring you guys all sorts of cool stuff that we found in the iFly AMA Facebook group over the last couple of weeks. Now, the question I have is for you guys. Have you joined the iFly AMA Facebook group yet? And if you haven't, what are you waiting for? All you got to do is go to facebook.com slash groups slash iFly AMA. Click that join button, answer a couple of easy questions, and you're off to the races and you get to experience all of the amazing content that gets put in there by you, you guys, our members that are sharing so much amazing content every single day. And uh, this is why I love this part of the show, because then we get to share this back with you guys for those that aren't in the group yet. Yeah. So Dylan, I'm going to let you kick us off today. What did you find in the iFly AMA Facebook group? Well, actually, a good friend of both you and mine, uh, Tim Barnhart, posted this, uh, and uh, it's it's actually his new AMA membership card with a twist, because usually right there where it says do a loop is a number, but uh, we've recently opened the floodgates <laughs> to custom AMA numbers, and uh, of course, Tim is uh, just got hired on uh, or promoted at MultiGP to the COO, the chief operating officer over there so congratulations first of all but uh, do loop is of course his uh, fpv name he takes amazing photos a lot of the photos that you see of uh, multi-gp events probably come from tim um mm-hmm. he's a good friend of the show and then of course i had to jump in there with my own custom uh pilot <laughs> handle as well to uh, to join in the fun so um, now shout out I'm, to tim I'm- thanks for Thanks for joining. Thanks for uh, uh, posting that and uh, and sharing with us your custom AMA number. Now I, I got to say I feel a little left out because I do not yet have a custom number. I, I've not I've not gone that route. I need to. Uh, well, I just haven't done it yet. But now we've we've made it easier. So I guess I need to I get on that. Find that strange, Matt, because uh, you're the poster child for <laughs> the custom AMA number. So uh, I, I don't know how that happened. By the way, I don't <laughs> know. You how don't that have happened. a number yet. But, uh, but look how amazing want, my radiant looks, though. I mean, yeah, come on. See, you just need to, you need to get that custom AMA number also, put on there. <laughs> I also what need if you're to point out. A- Go ahead. I was just gonna say I also need to point out that photo is about five years old, and <laughs> my my hair is much longer, and uh, I've I, I think I've I've had a, a a cheeseburger or two since then. But uh, hey, rock and roll. I don't know how that got in there. <laughs> Hey, that's when you're when you're an amazing photo uh, photographer like Matt Matt Ruddick is. <laughs> all the other photos taken of you just pale in comparison. So that's that's just the best one. We you can't oh. we can't have Matt taking a photo of Matt for our photography. It is that, is that what it is? Not yeah. gonna work out that way. But if you want to get your own custom AMA number, uh, it's kind of a mouthful to say, but we will be putting all of these links in the description after the episode. You can go to modelaircraft.org/form/custom-AMA-number where you can get currently 50% off a custom AMA number. Uh, we had a question in the comments there from hobby view asked, can I get one, two, three, four, five, six, or zero, 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 zero. Um, it, it, it all depends on if they're available. If you get it, it first. Really it, yeah. If you get, if you get there first, uh, then you can certainly get it, but it's gotta be available first. So, um, be sure to go check that out. If you want to uh, get a custom AMA number, Oh, man, I've got to work on what my, I don't even know what mine will be. I have so many options, so many ideas, but why don't thanks you for make bringing it, that to our attention. Why don't you make it custom AMA number? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what <laughs> I broke Matt. All right. Thank you. So moving on, uh, Matt, <laughs> yes. I, I think it's time for, <laughs> I think it's time for oh, your, man. uh, Con- contribution to the iFly and they yes. said, what do you have to bring to share with us today with the class? So I, I wanted to bring this, uh, this post that I found, it was from, uh, Brian Rhodes. And uh, the reason uh, that I wanted to share this one is cause I don't think we talk enough about the turbine waiver program and, and how you become a turbine jet pilot. Uh, and, uh, Brian Rhodes, he posted this on iFly AMA the other day where he says he got his turbine waiver today on Tony Quist's Aerofoam L39 using his IX-20. And uh, he's got a nice photo there of the jet that he used to complete his turbine waiver process. Um, Brian is from the Sun Valley Flyer, Sun Valley Flyers. I'm all sorts of tongue twisted now. Um, <laughs> 
f- from out in Arizona. So uh, kudos to Brian for getting that turban waiver. And, and for those folks out there that want to learn a little bit more uh, about how to get your turban waiver or just want to learn more about jets in general and how to become a jet pilot. Uh, we've got a really cool article that was in model aviation a few years ago. If you go to modelaviation.com slash jet guide is a, a, again, a really cool article that was uh, produced that kind of takes you through the process of choosing a, a new model and, and, and what the waiver process is like and, and what it's like to fly one of these things. Because here's, here's the cool thing about turbines. If you've never seen one of these turbines fly in person, they are a complete, I mean, they, it's a jaw dropping experience. Uh, they are absolutely, it, it, it makes everybody stop what they're doing and watch because there they're just a, so impressive. There is an a 10 that comes out to uh, Indiana warbird campaign out on yeah. site uh, for the last couple of years. And it actually, you know, the a 10 has the dual, it actually has the dual turbines on the a 10 and, man, when that thing makes a low flying pass, which is what they were built <laughs> to do. Um, it is just amazing. Yeah. They, they're, I've, I've seen some really impressive turbine jet pilots over the last few years and they never cease to amaze me. And I I've actually been invited to, um, buddy box on one once oh. I turned That's it down. Invitation. I said, I said, no, yeah. I said no, because frankly, <laughs> I was like, if I have any part in crashing this thing, I can't, I can't afford to to, to make it whole again. So I'm just going to take a pass. I'll watch from a distance yeah. and, and that'll be good for me. Um, but man, there, some of those guys, I'm, I'm telling you, they are some of the most talented pilots in the world uh, that can fly those things. So, uh, again, go check out that article, modelaviation.com slash jet guide. Uh, if you want to learn more about the turbine jet world of model aviation, it's a, uh, it's, it's, it's a worthwhile article to read. Um, And speaking of model aviation, we're going to talk a little bit about the next issue of model aviation in just a second. But first, we got to close out iFly AMA. And that's by telling you guys that the next month's cover photo contest. So the March, this will be for March. uh, The cover photo contest is going to be starting up on Monday. That's this, uh, this coming Monday, February the 15th. Uh, We're going to set that post and pin it to the top so you guys can take all of your cool photos that you've got that you want to be taken up to the top and made the cover photo for the month of March. Uh, You can put those in the comments of that post. And hopefully if you get the most likes, hearts, reaction emojis, whatever you want to call them, uh, that'll get sent up straight to the cover photo for the entire month of March. There's the cover photo for the month of February right there. Uh, such a cool photo. I, I just, this is so cool. I love seeing everybody's pictures. Yeah, absolutely. And I think, uh, I, we've got a couple comments on the video where we announced that photo and you were trying to guess if it was a drone mounted camera or how they got this picture. It does look like a yeah. GoPro. A few people actually suggested that maybe it was a helmet mounted, uh, GoPro that they uh, either know this guy or they know people who do that, who actually mount their yeah. GoPro to their helmet. And when they make passes, they can follow it. So it does. It, it certainly does look uh, like a GoPro uh, image. They, GoPros have a very specific uh, image look to them. And it does look like it was probably from a GoPro. Um, that's interesting. I haven't, I didn't think about a helmet mounted uh, camera at that point, but uh, it's certainly possible okay. there. Yeah. I don't know if, if you have an idea, go to, go to that, uh, picture and type a comment, how you think that picture was taken. Absolutely. Well, let's take a look at the, uh, preview for model aviation. For I'm going to, I'm going to stop you there real quick. Actually, we got to go back, rewind a bit to, uh, my iFly AMA. We have a comment from George Wilson that asks, is it a one-time fee or do you have to pay every year, uh, like a license plate? Um, and no, it is a one-time fee. So you pay yep. once for your custom AMA number. Sorry if I didn't uh, clarify that. One time fee mm-hmm. for your custom AMA number, and uh, you've got it for as long as you're a member. So keep up yep. that uh, keep up that membership, and and it's yours. Oh, uh, we actually that- have we actually have yeah you were just about to say <laughs> sorry a run cam on your hat. Okay, yeah, it, I can see run cam too. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Um, interesting, it because it looks like you must be really tall. 
because it looks like you're pretty high in the air. That's that's a really uh, Im- impressive way to get an aerial shot like that. I, I'm I'm totally into that. Uh, can, w- well done, sir. Well done. Yeah. So we thanks were, for chiming in. We were close. It was like a GoPro ish camera, and somebody said they had enough helmet. So yeah, um, <laughs> how about that? Having the uh, the photographer watching the show and uh, and letting us know. Thank you very much, Douglas. Absolutely. Well, let's move over to Model Aviation. We've got a, a preview of the next issue of Model Aviation. I'd normally, Jay Smith, our executive editor of Model Aviation, is here uh, to tell you a little bit about the next issue of the magazine. Fortunately, he's got the day off today. Good for him. Uh, you know what? I wish I had the day off today, but I'm here with you guys, which is actually a little bit better. I so wouldn't anyway. let him have the day off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he had the so, whole month of January off. Oh, that's that's true. I did. I guess I can't. Can't complain too much. So uh, we're going to fill in for Jay a little bit. We'll tell you a little bit about some of the cool things you can find in next month's issue of Model Aviation. Of course, the digital edition comes out today. Uh, so if you're a digital subscriber, you can go to modelaviation.com slash digital and uh, check that out. Uh, as soon as this show's over, you can go check that out, I think. I believe I believe it's already live. It so, should be. Um, it, yep. It, it, some it of you may live. have already – some of you may have even already read it. Yeah. In which case – which case I'm a little jealous. Haven't had a chance to do that yet. Um, but uh, the first thing we want to do is is reveal the cover for uh, the next issue of Model Aviation. And Dylan, I think I'm going to let you take it from here and, and show off this amazing cover. So yeah, before I put that on screen, I do have kind of a little interesting behind the scenes tidbit. So um, if you all watched our uh, RC Roundtable podcast takeover of AMA Air, which was the February 15th, uh, so we do on the 15th of every month, that's when the digital edition releases, and we always give a little special sneak peek. So perks of watching AMA Air. Well, February 15th, the uh, RC Roundtable hacked into our program and were able to get uh, access to all of our information. And uh, it was a surprise to Terry Dunn <laughs> that during the pre-production of this episode, or dur- during directly before the episode, he found out that he was on the cover uh, with his yin-yang. Well... Uh, we've got a two-peat, a, a two-peat, a repeat. So if or Terry a repeat? is watching, a repeat. There's a three-peat <laughs> and a repeat. Uh, so if Terry is watching, uh, it's actually his CJ6 that is on the cover. So I don't know if that's ever been done before. We'll have to talk to our stats guys and make sure to get that up on screen for you uh, <laughs> to see if anybody else has, uh, has gotten a two in a row uh, review on the cover. But uh, congratulations, Terry Dunn, again for getting your CJ6 on the cover. As a beautiful photograph of a beautiful airplane, congratulations to uh, to Terry for getting that cover f- uh, photo on Model Aviation for the March issue. Um, what are uh, Dylan? I'm curious if you could tell us a little bit about some of the features that folks can find in the next issue of Model Aviation. Yeah, absolutely. So Jay was able to uh, to share with me some some insider information before it was released, and uh, we actually have Fitz Walker, another uh, uh, RC Roundtable podcast host, who uh, was complicit in uh, the the takeover of AMA Air. Uh, he's got a story in there about half a model flying, um, so you can learn more about those engines and the engines they power, the airplanes they power, rather. Um, mm-hmm. There's also a uh, an about us feature with Andy Clancy Designs uh, that's actually written by Jay Smith, uh, so you can learn more about the company and also have an opportunity to win one of two Andy Clancy Design kits. Uh, and the way you do that is you submit your answer to the question found in the article. I'm not going to ask the question or tell you how to do that. You've got to go read the magazine. Absolutely. Uh, and two winners will be randomly selected for that kit. Uh, we also have a feature called Common Questions, and uh, that's featuring APC propellers, uh, also written by Jay Smith. So you can find out the most asked questions about these propellers from the experts directly at APC. Uh, everything to balancing to the difference between glow and electric props, which uh, apparently there's a difference between glow and electric props. So I'm going to have to read that and find out what it is. <laughs> We're all learning something every day. Yeah, um, absolutely. Well, Something we always find in in our issues of Model Aviation is uh, some really amazing product reviews, and we've got a few product reviews that are going to be in this issue. First of all, that FMS CJ6 that Terry Dunn took a look at uh, that we saw on the cover of the magazine. We've got a video that will be in the digital edition uh, that you guys can check out. It will also be on our YouTube channel as well, uh, showing you all the cool stuff that uh, you can do with that airplane. That is just a beautiful, beautiful airplane up there. 
Uh, so I'm looking forward to checking that out. Uh, we also have the Horizon Hobby E-Flight V1200. It's a 1.2 meter bind and fly basic with smart technology. John Barnes, one of our uh, regular reviewers, he's taken a look at that and written up an article for us. This thing is super fast. It, they're, they're, they're saying 140 mile an hour plus on 6S out of the box. Uh, so holy cow, I've, I'm I've anxious heard that. to see this. I've heard that Horizon Hobby has, this is just a rumor. I, I don't have any video proof or anything, but I've heard a rumor that they've been able to crank it up to uh, 200 as well. Uh, I, I've heard that rumor. I haven't seen any verification from it, but uh, this, is, this is a really cool airplane that really, really scoots across the sky. So that's going to be another amazing review to check out. And then, of course, we also have finally the Hobby Club Micro SE5A biplane kit that's uh, being uh, reviewed by Tony Stillman, a little micro balsa kit that uh, I think I think you guys are going to enjoy that as well. So uh, those are the reviews that you can find uh, in Model Aviation's March issue. You can go to modelaviation.com slash digital if you're a digital subscriber to check that out today. Um, of course, the other thing that we like to talk to Jay about when he comes on is his next episode of Model Aviation Live, which is going to be happening a week from today. Uh, at 3 p.m., go to modelaviation.com slash live uh, at 3 p.m. to watch that show. And he's got a very special guest. Uh, Dylan, do you want to take a, a guess on who his special guest is? Boy, I couldn't even I couldn't even guess. Is it Jay Smith? It is. <laughs> Jay's so is guest. Jay Smith Jay, Jay, and a guest star on Jay Smith's show. I don't I don't understand. Jay's guest will be Jay Smith, but not himself. It's his dad. His dad, Jay, is going to be a guest on the show. His, his dad is a longtime modeler, uh, owned a hobby shop in Florida as well for many, many years right. where, where Jay cut his teeth on on modeling. So uh, they're, they're going to have a, a really cool conversation together. I'm excited for that show. You guys are not going to want to miss it's out. It's going to be a Again, good that's, one. That's right. It's next Friday, uh, and it will be at 3 p.m. Eastern time. You can go to modelaviation.com slash live to watch it. Uh, of course, if you can't be there live, that's okay. You'll be able to watch after the fact, but you won't be able to ask questions, and that's a lot of the fun of it, too. So be, try, if you can be there live, be there live. That's the fun. Uh, we also got a little bit of an insider tip. I think we figured out why Terry got two covers in a row. Uh, while uh -oh. the RC Roundtable podcast was in our system, uh, they said they did a special hack <laughs> to make sure that Terry appeared twice, twice in a row. <laughs> Who knows? Terry could be the entire year 2021 at this point. I'll tell There's you, no I, way of knowing. I'll tell you what, that fits. He, he's got some, some, uh, some skills in the hacking he realm. He does. <laughs> Shout out to those guys. They're a lot of fun. Appreciate all the, the fun the fun times they had with our uh, our takeover in that episode. We also see uh, Nathan Sailor is also in the uh, chat hey, wow. as well from the RC Sailors. So uh, they took over our New Year's Day episode as well. Yeah. So shout out to those guys for watching as well. See, they um, asked they asked nicely. They didn't just they come did. in and run the show. They actually <laughs> asked us nicely, and we allowed them to take over for our New Year's show. So. <laughs> We appreciate uh, both yeah. of those. Uh, everybody who's been a guest host on AMA Air so far, I hope you guys are enjoying that. Um, uh, of course, sometimes every once in a while you get guys like me who just nobody cares and whatever. But uh, we've had some really great guests. Joe Vermillion was our most recent guest, and we uh, we appreciate everybody who's been on the show. I I just feel bad they almost always have to stare at my face, but you know, <laughs> I apologize. Um, Let's uh, let's take uh, talk about Nats registration real quick, Dylan. Yeah, so uh, Nats is uh, you're ready. Nats is ready to go. I'm wearing my Nats shirt actually from uh, from last year. Uh, I actually made a mask out of out of this shirt uh, because uh, we were just getting those about that time. Um, so mm -hmm. Nats is ready. Nats is ready to be registered for, and all you have to do is go to nats.modelaircraft.org to slash register to register. Um, so that's, that's everything. Yeah. Uh, we also have a, a special for the a free t-shirt. It's not going to be this one, gonna, but it's going to be maybe similar. I don't know. We haven't, we haven't officially unveiled the design yet, but the first 100 res registrants to register for Nats will get a free t-shirt. So make sure to follow us on Instagram and Facebook uh, to see the 
design of that show. So you can go to Instagram.com slash AMA Model Aviation or, of course, Facebook.com slash Model Aircraft, I believe, is our Facebook yeah, so the uh, one of the other thing we wanted to talk to you guys about real quick, we last week or last episode, I should say, we told you guys a little bit about this new program uh, that was started by the AMA Foundation. Uh, it's called the Torchbearer Program. It's this monthly giving program that uh, gives you guys a little bit easier way to give to the AMA Foundation uh, on a regular basis if you choose to do so. And uh, we've are, we've got the 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 sign up tool ready to go. We've made it easier to set up those recurring donations for you. If you go to modelaircraft.org slash pass dash the dash torch and you can uh, check that out there's a button right there on the uh, right below the banner that tells you to uh to, that you can click on to go donate uh says so set up monthly giving then you'll be brought to the main donate page and you'll see a button that says donate now to support the ama foundation general fund and there we go got it on your screen there if you click on the setup monthly giving and then to the Donate Now button, and you'll be brought to the donation page here where you can select Give Monthly uh, to take part in that monthly giving program where you guys are going to get access to some really cool content as part of that program and being a torchbearer. Uh, some exclusive podcasts, exclusive access to some uh, special AMA Air episodes as well. Uh, all sorts of fun stuff throughout the year. So if you're interested in doing that, I would encourage you to go check that out as well. Absolutely. Uh, and we do have to swing back. Uh, we made a mistake. Uh, it happens on the last show. I had a few comments pointed out to us about uh, our reporting on the Top Gun uh, uh, event that's taking place this year. Uh, we incorrectly reported that it was being postponed sometime in September or October. Uh, it turns out that was just old information from last year that I had, um, and we have the most current up-to-date information. It appears as if this year it will be happening on schedule April 28th to May 2nd, 2021. So if you go back and uh, look at that poster that I incorrectly put on the screen last year, it was the 32nd Top Gun for 2020. So this is the correct uh, date here for Top Gun. There we go. Just such an amazing event that, uh, you know, I think, Anybody who's a pilot, I think, dreams to to get to go down and fly at Top Gun. So uh, you can learn more about that at franktiano.com slash top-gun. And, uh, of course, you guys can go to the modelaircraft.org slash event-calendar as well for the event calendar to get all the latest up-to-date information on events in your area. So be sure to go check that out, too. They are usually more accurate than uh, we are, apparently, because we <laughs> that's, had, that's, that's true. we've had one mistake. You know, we made a mistake. That's our one. Hey, but but we corrected it, and that's the important exactly. thing. Exactly. That's it's the we thought had, that counts, right? We'll just we had, report we had everything our mistakes. incorrectly. We'll report everything incorrectly from now on and then just go back the next episode and correct it. <laughs> yeah. Right. So watch next week for when we unveil the actual cover photo for Model Aviation magazine. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, Terry, psych. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we're we're kidding. Just kidding. No, that's it. You guys hacked it. It's in there. It's good to go. Well, Dylan, I want to thank you uh, for coming on and being our co-host today. Um, that, that's that's all we've got for this week's episode. Uh, yeah. We hope you guys had a great time, and we thank you guys for watching as well. If you happen to like the episode, which I hope you did, uh, we'd love it if you click that little like button, share it to your friends, leave a comment, and be sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on any future episodes. And hey, click that little notification bell too if you're on YouTube. So I, I think... As I like to say, that's what the kids do, so you don't miss out on any single live uh, video that we put out. And if you have any brands or personalities that you would like to see guest host on AMA Air, uh, drop a comment down below. Like I said, Nathan Saylor dropped by with the RC Sailors, the RC Roundtable guys. We had everybody watching uh, this time around. Uh, drop drop a name down in the comments and tell us who you'd like to see on AMA Air, and maybe we might be able to uh, convince them to come on and be a guest host. <laughs> And if you guys uh, are not yet a member of the AMA, we'd love it if you go to modelaircraft.org slash join, become a member, see what the AMA can do for you. Uh, we've got so many programs, so much cool information that you get as a member. So go check that out and sign up uh, today. And uh, we look forward to seeing you guys again on the next episode of AMA Air. Dylan, 
it's been fun. It's we'll been see you guys fun. later. Yeah. Thanks a lot.